yo what up dog what up homie let's just freestyle a video i just need to get something done posted ready to go first we're gonna need some sick tunes yo 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 what's up everybody what's up there's not a whole lot of people that actually watch this content i'm pretty sure so there's probably not a whole lot of people watching this but i had to make a video like this i think to jump the channel off kick it off i got a camera i feel like that is what my channel was missing um, I was posting a lot of content, but I just feel like there was nothing, nobody uh, to relate to. So like, I don't know when I watch YouTubers and stuff, there's always a person there, always a person talking. It's not just like a computer or whatever. So I mean like, this is just with the camera, I'm coming back. So let's talk about a little bit where I've been. I've been gone. I've been working. So like when I was doing my content, I was hitting it. I was getting impressions like crazy. I think I was doing like 5,000 to 20,000 impressions with like really crappy click through rate. You know, I was really enjoying it. Like I was making little gains and just any, any feedback loop from this whole process was really, really interesting to me. It was really fun. So I really started to scale it up. I'm just kind of like obsessing over YouTube in my mind. I've been gaming, doing the same things I do all the time. I just have been working. I had my daughter in august so that's kind of throwing a wrench in a bunch of stuff too like you know reorganizing all the um the routines and stuff like that so i haven't been doing a whole lot though like i mean now i'm back i'm back i i, I created you know i've been working on my old school runescape project i've been i built a fence this last week uh, i kind of took some notes about what i need to talk about and there's changes in my you know i just fed it in a chat gpt love chat gpt everybody should be getting chat gpt just kind of give me like some things to talk about so i have something to talk about i guess i I left all my friends. I deleted all my social medias and I'm kind of just doing my own thing. Just kind of like centering myself and getting ready to go. The new interests I've developed. Nada. Uh, wanting to work more. So that's why we're here. Okay. So this is kind of just like a quick chat about where I want to take this channel what my plans are going to the future, what my goals are going to be. So I'm looking for my first dollar in five months. So kind of how I'm going to do that is uh, I feel like the issue I was having with my channel is that I was trying to serve too many people. I was trying to like Walmart it, you know, like a one stop shop. Does that make sense? Uh, who are, you know, to the no one that's going to be watching this, to the two people that might see this, to the two people that, you know, stay, you know, <laughs> sorry, sorry, um, rambling. I started to pick up traction doing like seven days content, which was really, you know, you know, it's fun. I love seven days, play seven days all the time. I've been playing it since like, I don't know, it seems like a decade, forever. Did that, I started to pick up a little steam, but then I started like thinking that I needed to do some self-help stuff because I feel like I've, I figured a few things out. So I started dropping some little random commentaries. And since I didn't have a camera, I was just like, well, I just need to like throw B-roll up. So I was just like, what am I playing? Starcraft, Guns the Duel, whatever, random video games. To the random people that like the YouTube algorithm was just sampling me to, not a, not a whole lot of success there. I was getting a lot of weird comments not weird comments sorry it made total sense they're just like what the hell is this crap what are you what, what am i watching blah 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 what is this like some people like feed you know i don't know they, they seem to like take there was a lot of positivity uh a lot of positive feedback as well so i hope you know if any of that helped people that one person you know who cares that's that's good for me what i've discovered about youtube what i think i've discovered about youtube is that like when you, i go to a youtube channel i am showing up for a specific type of content from that creator whether it be like drama whether it be like internet history whether it be just, you know, stuff like that. So I discovered, you know, and a lot of other people, I, big creators came to the same conclusion that like, they, you know, you thought you could bridge shorts content into long form content, but blah, 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 blah whatever they said, oh, they, uh, evidence, 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 studies, studies, studies. People who watch shorts content keep wanting more shorts content. People who watch long form content, watch long form content. When I get on Artosis cast, like, I'm oh, sorry, a StarCraft channel, um, I want more StarCraft content. I don't want them to start showing me another RTS or another, like, their their daily life. I don't care who they are. I just want to see them. Ca I think they're good at casting professional StarCraft games, and that's why, that's why I'm there. You know what I mean? It's like, if I turned on SportsCenter and they started talking, you know, the, the cast of The View was on there, and they just started chatting about, like, what they, like, made for dinner last night or some crap like that. Nobody, everybody would be upset. So, you know what I mean? Essentially, my vision moving forward is that this main channel is going to be for me and the viewer, and I'm going to, like, you know, it's going to be a commentary channel, give my opinion or whatever, you know, talk about stuff that I think is interesting. I got a bunch of notes. A bunch of stuff I wrote out. A bunch of topics. Wrote out some more at work today. I guess you can't see it, whatever. Blurred it out, whatever. Thanks, camera. 
I've written a lot. I've thought about a lot of things. I've written them down. I've reflected on a lot of things. There's a lot of topics that I can talk about for a long time. That's mainly what this channel is going to be about. But then the big grand reveal is I made four other channels and I'm going to operate. I'm going to attempt to operate four different channels and I'm going to attempt to upload daily content on all of them. So this would be content number one for this today. And then this seems so random. What I've learned from taking a break is I learned a lot. Uh, what I learned a lot is that the group that I was involved in didn't support me. You know what I mean? Like they, which no offense to them, they are who they are and they like what they like. But ultimately it was just a conflict, just a conflict of uh, characters. Like not saying like one has more moral weight than the other or anything like that. Like mine's better or they're better or I'm better. It's just we're way too different that I was unhappy and I wasn't. I guess the non-sappy version, the non-complicated uh, answer is that I wanted to become like a obsessive YouTuber workaholic because that's what I am ultimately. Like I've been playing old school RuneScape for 24 years, I believe, 23 or 24 years obsessively. One of the things I love to do is work really hard and do. I, it took me forever to notice that like I'm a lot more extreme than most people. I'm like, I, I have a, a obsessive psychopathic work ethic, which I just want to constantly be productive, 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 obsess, 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 obsess. Like kind of not to say I'm Mr. Beast or anything like that, but like that was one of the most things that made me think that maybe this is what's for me because he, he said in one of his podcasts that blah, 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 blah. I like to work, 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 burn out, rest for a day, work, 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 work until he hits another burnout. And that's kind of how I operate too. So yeah, that's just kind of, that's the biggest thing that whatever. Anybody who's like stuck around or anybody who watches me going forward, thank you. Um, I appreciate it. I, um, I like the space being so like, I feel like YouTube is kind of like a, uh, I'm a really social, I really like social interactions and stuff like that and like performative stuff. Uh, just talking in general as if you couldn't notice from if you've made it this far and if I even like keep any of this, but yeah. I would love to hear comments or suggestions and stuff that you'd want to hear or any feedback about how I suck. I mean, I'm, I'm a sensitive guy though, so I'd appreciate any feedback to be constructive or to like hold back on just like slinging mud or whatever. And I know that's not a good place to ask for that on the internet, but you know, whatever. I'm just going to be honest and transparent about it. I'm not, I'm not a tough guy. I'm not a tough guy when it comes to like my feelings. I, I like feel, I like being, I like being sensitive. I like being emotional. I like being in tune with that type of stuff and I don't ever want to turn that off. So I just ask, which whatever I'm going to get, if, if I ever grow, I'm going to get, I'm going to catch heat, but it is what it is. Yeah. So I guess that's kind of it. Um, there's a lot of random crap that the AI gave me like behind the scenes. I don't really, I use Adobe Photoshop. Now I use premiere. I bought the whole package. I got OBS. I mean, I've had the OBS, but I got the webcam and I got Nvidia broadcast to create these effects so that I can kind of, you know, have my office in the middle of my world while I watch my kids and stuff. I just really hope, you know, five months I make my first dollar on the channels. It'd be great to get them all monetized or if some fall through, whatever. But I eventually hope to scale to 10 channels too. I like, um, I kind of want to like, I kind of want to run like as many channels as humanly possible. It'd be really cool. But yeah, I'm, I'm looking for, I'm not, not to say that I'm going to sacrifice quality for quantity because that's a whole video. That's a whole video. Quantity. There's there's this study. Oh, whatever. I'm still here. I'm here. I'm here. Whatever. If you're still here, a quick rant about this thing. Here's my little tidbit, my little piece of knowledge here. Quantity over quality. You know why? Because there was a study done that there's two groups of people. Clay, clay pot makers or something like that. One group was told to create as many pots as humanly possible, as many as they could figure out to make in a, in a time frame, three months, whatever. And then one group was told to make the best pots they could possibly make, the, the highest quality, spend obsess over the details, da, 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 make the highest quality pots that you could ever make. At the end of the study, the people who made more pots made so many more pots than the other group, like obviously infinitely more, infinitely more than the first or the second group, the quality group. And as a realized or when they were measuring the two pots against each other, they also realized that what? Yo, I'm back. All right, I gotta finish that story. So essentially what they found was the pot people, sorry, fuck, I gotta start that over. Um, so at the end of the study, essentially to, to reiterate, sorry, um, the people who were told to make the most pots ended up making higher quality pots because they were doing so much volume that it, 
the iterations of constantly being more efficient to make you know a clay pot, clay pot, clay pot, clay pot. pot. They just like through sheer volume and just they 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 did they were able to achieve a higher quality product. And the people who are just like analysis paralysis type thing. It's like I feel that's I feel like the main message of that whole thing. The whole study has been is like you would would when you're a perf- perfectionist, a perfectionist. You have analysis paralysis about projects, and you set such a high expectation for them, and you compare them like you know, a clay pot or the best YouTube video ever. You're gonna go look up the best YouTube videos, and that'd be Mr. Beast. And you're not gonna be able to make a video like him, so you're constantly gonna be judging that. So then you're not gonna to want to take at least me, for instance. You're not gonna take any actions towards your goal to make the highest quality product because you don't have the skills. And like a lot of people don't have that, uh, me as well, I'm included here. You don't have the ability to, uh, abstain from gratification for that long, but through sheer volume quantity, you fail a lot, but you also succeed a little, a lot. So like 1%, 1%, 1%, or what is it? Half a percent, 1% of 1%. Bing, 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 bing. You know, you make seven videos a week, seven videos a week. It's 1% of 1%, but then it's like 1.1% of 1%. And then you feel that that growth. You feel it. You feel it every single time. Every single time I make a video, if I if you go back on my channel and you look at my first video, it is garbage. I was an anxious mess. But right here now, I'm talking in front of a camera like it's going to be like a video with 30 million freaking views. Like I'm the coolest guy ever. But I mean, like, not not so much. I don't actually believe that. But like compared to the the quality of the my commentary style from when I first started talking. Uh, I was very script-like, didn't really have a plan or... I mean, I planned things out too much. I was just afraid all the time. And you can could, you could hear it in my content, but now it's... I'm just talking. I'm just talking now and it's a lot better. It's a lot better. And I mean, even to you, it doesn't have to be better to you. To me, it's better. Whether the analytics or the, the algorithm or whatever, you know, whether the views or the likes, anything reflects that is um, irrelevant. Uh, sorry. So anyway... That's the little spiel about that. Um, I forgot the whole point of that because I got interrupted before and I'm trying to recover. Uh, Not recover, sorry. Recap everything I've learned. Um, Before I turn this into another 90 minute rant like I did with ChatGPT, I'm just gonna sign off, I guess, and um, you'll be seeing more from me. Please like, subscribe, hit me up. Leave me feedback down below. Uh, Tell me. Tell me your favorite uh, cat breed. Uh, yeah, sweet. All right, see ya.